Hi, my name is Fiji Matavish, and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So on this one, we're going to do a higher level question from 2014 paper. So we're going to do question B3 from 2014 paper, and this is basically not a graphic projection question. So as always, read through it first. So the 3D graphic on the right shows lollipops, uh, which are to be distributed as promotional gifts at a trade show. Each lollipop is packaged in a cube as shown. The cube is as small as possible and the stick emerges centrally from one of its faces. Okay, so a bit of detail there. So the packaging is as small as possible to fit around the lollipop and the stick will, move, will come through the center of one of the faces. All right. The plan elevation of one of the lollipops is shown in figure B3 below. The auxiliary view, which includes a cube uh, shaped packaging, is also shown. So A, B, C, your part. Part A, draw the given plan elevation lollipop. B, draw the given auxiliary elevation, and C, complete the plan elevation to include the cube-shaped packaging. Okay, so we'll start off, as I said, draw the given plan elevation. Let's draw as much of the plan elevation as we can first. We'll do that to the right-hand side of the page to leave us room for the auxiliary view. Now, I'm going to start off with the plan. We'll start off with that. with the light up itself, the diameter 40 circle. The angle of the stick coming out of the light pop then is 45 degrees. I don't know where that stops until we do the elevation. So, move on to the elevation. The XY line is 70 mil up. So, the XY line, XY line is 70 mil up, and we can start putting in the elevation. So, 30 mil up to find the center of the lollipop. Same radius. So the angle of the stick, again, the elevation is so 45 degrees, and the length of it is 80 mil. The measure 80 mil. That gives you the length of the light pop, and we can bring that point back down to the plan to see where it ends in plan. Okay, so that is as much of the elevation and plan that's given done without obviously the packaging. So we're going to move on now and do the auxiliary view. So the auxiliary view is going to be perpendicular to the light pop stick here, and if that is perpendicular, it's going to give you a true length of light pop up here in the other, in the auxiliary view. So it's 45 degrees, so that means perpendicular is going to be again 45 degrees. So project everything up here to the left hand side, top left up here, project everything up. Put in your X1, Y1 so that it doesn't interfere with your drawing. Put it off around here. And I'm just going to focus on that. So, again, you get your heights. If you're expecting from the plan, you get your heights from the elevation. So, the heights from the XY line up will give you points for the lollipop stick. So that's the end point. So follow that point up, mark it in. I'm just going to zoom in on that now. Or focus on that, I should say. So this is the height up here. Alright. That's the end of the lollipop stick. And the height then for the center of the 
sphere. That's that height there. Mark that up here to find the end of the lollipop stick. And also the center of the lollipop. Okay, so once you found the center point for the circle, you mark in the same radius again. So again, diameter 40, radius 20. Mark that in. And join the center back up to find the lollipop stick. Now, to finish off that auxiliary view, you need to put in the cube itself. So it said it was the smallest possible faction. So if this is a true length of that lollipop stick, and it said it was going through the center of one of the faces, one of our faces will be equidistant from that point there. Okay, so that means not only will this line be a center line from one of the faces, it'll also be going through the center or middle of it. So we can go perpendicular to that line there to find one of the faces first off. So if we draw a line 90 degrees to that line, to that point, that would be the angle for one of our faces. It's the smallest possible packaging, so basically you're going to inscribe that circle in a cube, in a square, so send out the edges, find the points of contact. Once you find the point of contact, do your right angles. Right angles again there to our line. Extend that down, find the point of contact down here. And inscribe that circle. Okay, so that is our cube and our sphere inside it. So that is the auxiliary review done, so we can draw that in strong now to move on to the plan. So that's the auxiliary review done, and the next step then is to bring those points of the auxiliary review back and finish the plan and finish the elevation. All right. Before I do that, I'm going to start labeling, okay, because this is a cube. So we have four points here and we have four on the other side, so let's label accordingly. So we can say this is in the front, this is point zero, point one, point two, and down here is three. And then we can say we'll go with letters for the far side. So inside here is point A, B, C, and D. So what you have is two circle or two squares. 0, 1, 2, 3, and A, B, C, D. And then 0 joins A, 1 joins B, and so on. All right? So in order to do the plan, you know, we're just going to focus on our autographic views again. So you're going to miss the top of the review, but that doesn't matter because the only thing that concerns us now is these four points here. So the angle of the auxiliary review is 45 degrees. So that means project everything back down 45 degrees again. So bring all your points straight down. Okay. Now, that's fine. We have our lines down here to show where the points are going to be. For the length of the edges, it's a cube, so all the sides are going to be the same length. And if the line OA and the line won't be here are point views, then that means the line 0 to 1 here is a true length. Okay, so we have true length of a line. Now we need to figure out where to start down here in the plan. So if you look at the plan, we again, we have our top view of the lollipop stick there. All right, and remember that's going through the center of our face. And if you look at the elevation here, when you're looking down the plan, you'll actually see that top face. And what we're going to do is, it's going to be tangential to the edge of the sphere here. So 
if we draw a 45 degree line, follow our central line up to get a point of contact. Going to be resting that edge there. And we'll just get that true length down to mark it down to figure out that it is actually resting on the far side as well. And you see that it's in contact with the far edge as well. Okay, so because the packaging is sitting tight onto the sphere, we're looking down here in the plan, we're actually going to see it sitting tight either edge of it. So that's the plan done. We can draw down strong now, see all our lines. We'll, we'll actually mark in the labeling first when we bring it up to the elevation. So in front is point O. Uh, so it's actually zero, sorry, zero. Then follow down one. One's at top as well, this would be strong, that's point one. That goes over here to point two. And then you have point three down here at the base. Same far side, this is A. This is B. This is C. And then D down at the bottom here. Okay, so draw the plan in strong. Now before we finish it off, we need to figure out whether the lollipop finishes being strong and starts being hidden detail because it's hitting off the surface there. So what you need here is this point here, that shows where it ends, where it hits the surface, that's where it stops and becomes hidden detail for the rest of, this, of its path. So we bring this point here of the lollipop, bring it down, show where it cuts through the surface, so it's strong all up to there, and then the rest is hidden detail. And that's the plan done. Next is the elevation, so project all your points up. And now the fine heights up here in the elevation, you need to go walk off the auxiliary view. Because if you're projecting from the plan, remember to find the lollipop stick, we got the heights from the elevation. So we can work backwards now, and the heights from the auxiliary view will be the same heights as the ones in the elevation. So I'll start off with our first height here, the ground point, which is points 3 and D. So this distance here is going to be the height for point 3 and point D. So I'll mark them in. Okay. Then we'll get our heights for C and 2, let's double check and see if they're the same height as, no, it's a different height there, so this is the height for 2 and C, so this is point 2, and this is point C. And this height here is the height for 0 and A, so A is there, and point 0. Last one then, the height for 1 and B. So this is point 1, and this is point B. So the squares remain the same. You have 0, 1, 2, 3, and you have A, B, C, D. So join them in lightly first. Now, to finish it off with the drawn and strong, so if you're looking in this direction, okay, because that's the direction you're looking in for the elevation, you'll see the line A and 0, that would be strong here. You'll see actually the full 0, 1, 2, 3 triangles in strong. So if this, or square I should say, so 0, 1, 2, 3, that's all in strong. That means AB and AD will be strong, and your B to C and C to D, that's going to be in detail. Okay, so the elevation can be drawn and strong. Okay, so that is the 
Elevation plan completed from working backwards from the auxiliary view. There is nothing else in that question. So a nice little orthographic question where you have to work backwards from an auxiliary view. So remember, if you're projected from the plan, that's an auxiliary elevation, which means everything has to be brought up. Your heights have come from the elevation. Okay, it's just another elevation from a different angle. All right, and remember, you need to know how to get true lengths from certain views. So the zero to one line there, that's a true length because you were projecting parallel to zero A there to show it as a point view, and same thing with one and B, their point view. So that edge there was a true length, okay, which would be marked near the plan. So that's that question done. I hope it helped. If it did, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to see more DCG tutorials. Okay, thank you, and good luck. Thank you.